Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon Ironcast, episode number two. Already, we have the tutorial out of the way now. Let's actually go into an actual mission here and find out what's about us. We have a few different ones we can kind of undertake over here. A lot of these, by the way, have turn limits. I just noticed that. So basically, within a certain amount of turns, you have to finish the mission. Otherwise, it's game over for you. Um, let's see, so we need to have a counter-offensive mission here. What is this one over here? This is a desperate defense. Medium is the difficulty on that one, and medium on this one, which is energy armor. Following the bombing of several of our key military installations, a convoy of enemy steam tanks have moved into position to deny us territory. However, there is one tank that has become isolated at its location. Destroy it within the turn limit. If the turn limit is reached, the enemy will receive reinforcements at that point of location, and thus the mission will be lost. So, let's undertake this one right here. See how that one goes about. This is going to be my first mission. I actually haven't played the game beyond the tutorial, so I'm a little bit... Yeah, you know, a little bit iffy about it, but we'll see how this one goes. Greetings, Commander. This is Lady Emmeline H. Blackwell, your new commanding officer. Understood, Lady Blackwell. I must ask, where is Lord Butler? Unfortunate as it is, it is my charge to inform you that your previous general, Lord Butler, was slain in the blast. I am his replacement. It is unfortunate, to say the least. He was quite a man. It is a sad day indeed, but our job is always to protect the citizens of the British Empire. Move with purpose, Commander. Move to neutralize the enemy tank. We shall rise from the ashes this day. Alrighty. Oh, my lord. That is an enemy tank, all right. How do I deal with this guy? Got a lot of coolant. Armor, MKO. Drives, weapons. Okay. So, I mean, it still has the same type of, um, dry, um, systems, I guess. So, we'll just treat it like an actual iron cast itself. So, for the first turn, I don't think you can attack. So, uh, it's basically just a matter of charging up your power. So, right now, we have zero power, zero, um, ammo. And also no repairs. So let's start off by just getting some power first and foremost. I think it goes up to 8 right now at the most. So anything above 8 is basically just diminished return. So we could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we'll do... Doesn't really matter because that's going to drop down over here anyway. So yeah. We'll do 8. Get our power charged up over here. So now that we have some energy stored up, we have the option over here to do a standard drive. Or start walking, get a little bit of our get some of our evasion up, or we could also get our shields up as well. As a tank, I'm going to imagine hits like a ton of bricks, so I think that probably... Ugh, dodge chance, huh? Per level 5, 10, and 15. Maximum evasion will be 15%. I'm going to go with defenses. Let's get our defenses up and running here. So we'll do that once, we'll do that probably... Well, the next one's going to actually be 3, so it's no longer 2. Um, we'll do that as well, get our defenses back up to 30. And we'll see how far we can go from there. Now, before we commit to this a bit more, let's find out about probably getting some ammo stored up for our next turn. And don't care about scrap right now. And we have some more energy going on over here, which could be a good thing. So let's store up some more energy as well. It's going to bring us up to 8. And now we do ammo, I'm going to say, for the next turn. So we could do up to 8, I believe. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or we could go down this way as well. Let's go up this way. So we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. So it's going to be all of our turns right now. We now have the chance to up this up one more time by using up two energy and two more coolant. I'm going to go with getting our shields up. Or maybe let's start walking a little bit, maybe. Yeah, let's get our defenses up. Why not? Just in case this guy really does hit pretty hard, we'll be good to go. So right now, this is our defense up to 40. We are not moving, so he's going to be able to land shots on us pretty easily. Although, we could start moving a little bit here, too. And you know what? I will, just in case. Alrighty. So, we're down to 3 energy, 12 coolant. Remember, we can't let this hit 0, or else we're going to start um, losing energy overall, over time. So, we're going to end our turn right here and see what he does now. He's going to probably take a shot, because they can attack you in the first turn. It's you that can't attack. So, he's got some movement up now. Movement up again. No shields, huh? Just straight up um, dodging. Interesting. Alrighty, well... Should we go after his drives then? Because he's a little bit dodgy right now. He's going to basically take everything that... As long as we land a hit, it's going to be for full damage because his defenses aren't up. But since his evasion's up, I'm a little bit worried about it. Hmm. Okay, so he went after weapon B, by the way. That's what he kind of focuses the attack on. So, we have a shot here that we can take, and let's go ahead... And I'm going to say we use... Let's go with Energy Lance... Oh, dude, I didn't choose. I wasn't going for his weapon. I wanted to go for drive A. We missed either way, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Thanks a lot, RNG. But I want to just choose his drive so we don't miss in the future shots here. Okay. Um, Let's go with weapon A. Land hopefully a few shots in there. Thankfully, we did land quite a few of them. And his drive is down to 41, so we'll get that 
dodge chance pretty low soon enough. Okay, now then, let's look at our thing here. Repair is fine right now. Cooling is at 8, not too bad. Energy is at 3. So we can increase this a little bit more, because we're no longer walking again as well. Um, let's go with... I don't think we need coolant. We could probably get some more ammo. Repair, I don't think is really a big deal right now. So, let's go with some more ammo shots here. So we'll grab this over here. Now we're up to 6. Let's go and definitely take a shot at that drive again. Bring that down completely. We're gonna go weapon A because I'm worried about missing. Okay, so we basically halted him in his steps now. His drive is no longer up and running. Everything that we do launch at him will hit. He's got, he still has defenses though, so we have to worry about that one. Um, let's go after his defenses then. Yeah, so we'll go after defenses. His shield isn't necessarily up, so this is a straight up shot at his defense drives essentially. So we could do, um, if we do this, it's gonna be three and two. Our cooling situation is gonna be a little bit scary afterwards. We're gonna have to kind of collect some over here, but yeah, I think it's worth it. So let's go after defenses. Actually, nope, 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 that's not it. Defenses, and we'll go with weapon A. All right, this is basically just make him like a, a mobile target that can't really take any damage right there. Sizzy, so no drive, and defense is down to nine. Perfect. Okay, we have no more ammo, so we can't take any more shots, although we could collect this over here. But we need energy and coolant as well. So let's start off with the coolant first and foremost, because that's going to open up this down over here. Perfect. And now, we have no ammo. So we want to take a shot. We still can. Actually, let's finish the fight right now. We can. One more shot should just about do it, right? So we'll do this through here. That'll get us the ammo that we do need. And we'll just finish it off right now. Take a shot. It's over. I just noticed his HP was pretty low. Boomski, alrighty. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, so what do we get for this uh, battle here? That was way under the 10 um, turn limit, too. Come inspired, this is Lady Powell. Receiving you well, Commander. Is the task complete? Indeed, Lady Blackwell. The enemy armor has been obliterated. A small victory, at least, on this terrible day. Good work, Commander. Not even the thick armor of a steam tank can resist the might of an iron castle when it brings its guns to bear. Return to the hangar bay and be sure to effect any repairs you may require before the next battle. Excellent. All righty. So overall, we're gonna get 560 scrap. Uh, 5873 HP. Okay. And we have some war assets as well. Let's go to next over here. Let's get our reward. Are we gonna level up? We definitely are. Good. We have 660 scrap over here stored up as well. So now let's um see about what do we want to level up here. So we got 25 HP just straight up from the level up itself. There's general augmentation, which is if you complete if you complete a match of eight or more nodes, you will gain two bonus coolant. Eight or more, huh? Yeah, it's a big match. Weapon augmentation. This is passive, by the way. This is passive, and this is actually a charge one. Ten percent of damage done to the target area from each shot will be applied to other locations. Really? I like the sound of that. All shots from the next weapon to fire will be unable to miss. Oh, that could be really good too. Especially once they get their um. What, once they get their um, drive up and running, this sounds really, really useful. But I like the thing that you could kind of um, spread damage around to other drives as well. Or systems, I should say. Man, both of these are sound pretty good to me. I'm going to go with this one just because if I need to land a shot in a pinch, this could essentially give me that upper hand. So yeah, we'll do that one right there. Save and close. I prefer passive abilities, obviously, but that one sounds a little bit too good to pass up. We have the Energy Lance MK2 blueprint from fighting this guy over here. So that's going to be an energy blueprint. I wonder if we could actually get that weapon right now, if we have enough scrap for it. I guess we'll find out. So, let's see. We could repair our health for 40. I think that might be useful. Let me go to the workshop first, though. Energy weapons, 750. We can't afford it anyway. Yeah, we can't afford it. We could do HP upgrade for 500. And there's a few more over here that we can't really afford right now. So, I'm thinking we repair and we just save up our money for the next time around and hopefully get something going on over here. Now, targeting lens is over here equipped already. Good. Good to know. Alrighty, so I guess that's pretty much it. We really have no money for doing anything else right now. So let's go into the next mission here. And what is about over here? This is a red mission, so that should be hard. I don't think I want to get involved with that one just yet. So we have a difficult decision. The enemy attacked this location at two separate points. One by Iron Cast and the other one by Steam Tank. You must decide which one you will engage. And... You must destroy the enemy iron cast at this location and begin organizing and stealing our defensive forces. I'm going to go with this one right here. Seems a little bit more passe right now. I don't necessarily want to get involved in a situation where you have to decide between two locations. I'm pretty sure with the other map, it's going to give you one of those FTL type of um, branching points where it's kind of like, do you want to attack this or that? So before we get involved with that, let's do something a little bit more easier. 
Hello again, Commander. As you will undoubtedly already know, a massive enemy force has made landfall near Dover. It seems that the attacks on our military locations were a precursor to this new offensive. We have estimated that it would take the French spearhead eight more days to reach the capital. If London falls, all is lost. I was made aware of these developments late last night. I hear that leading the convoy is an unknown model of gargantuan class Ironcast. Is there any more information on the matter? You are correct, Commander. The French flagship Ironcast is known as the Tour de Reines and is piloted by Commandant René Durand, one of the strongest Ironcast pilots alive. Ah yes, Durand. I have heard many tales of him. His reputation is one exacting and ruthless commander. At our current operational strength, we will be no match for the French advance. We must work to unite our scattered forces before the Tour de Reines arrives at the gates of London. If you are able to destroy the Ironcast at this location, you will be made considerable progress towards our goal. Understood, Spire Command. Moving to engage the enemy. Okay, so we're dealing with a commander dude over here. And that sounds a little bit scary to me. But so be it. He's got 600 HP, so he matches up to us, and he already starts off with a movement boost, by the way. Must be nice. Let's look at his um systems here. Weapon, weapon, drive, and defenses. So he's got some pretty high defenses and drives, by the way. Man. Okay. What do we want to start off with here? Targeting land. So we'll keep this in mind in case it comes down to next time around. Remember, if we need a land to hit, we can do it with card targeting lands. All shots from this next weapon to fire will be unable to miss. So even though he's got some dodge ability, this could kind of help us out here. Um, maybe we were going to start off doing that because he has no shields right now. Maybe we go straight up right now towards his drives. It'll help us out. I don't know. It's not like we could even attack this turn anyway. There's a link node over here too, which is good. So let's start off by collecting some energy. We need eight at least, right? So we can do one, two, three, four... Uh, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like the sound of that one. So we'll definitely go down that pad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will store us up to eight energy, which is good. Now then, do we want to raise any defenses and shields? I think we probably have to, because this guy kind of worries me a little bit. It looks a little bit different than the iron cast we've been kind of dealing with right now. Plus it's a commander too, so that could be kind of terrifying. We have some ammo nodes over here that we could collect as well. I guess we'll probably collect those right now. Before we make a decision here. Okay. So. Ammo's good to go. Energy's filled up. Cooling is still fine. Let's start um, raising our evasion chance here a little bit. And we'll also go with more evasion or do we want some more some defenses going on? I'm going to say probably defenses, so we'll do that. This will bring us up to one energy. We'll use two coolant, and yeah, I think it's kind of important to do that. So we'll get our shield up. A little bit of walking movement as well. We still can take a shot to next turn. Donovan Rocket Pots. Fire is spread of six small missiles, each striking a random enemy system for 10% of the system's maximum health as damage. Huh. Interesting. Can we do that right now without um using up a turn? I wonder. I wonder. That could be a good start for us, though. I mean... Especially because he has no shields happening right now. Uh, I'll hold off, but that could be a pretty good thing to use. Now, repair. We don't need any repairs right now, so there's a lot of these nodes around. So if we need repairs, at least they're ready to go. I guess we'll go with power. I see a lot of power around. Cooling wouldn't be a bad idea, but yeah, let's go with power. We'll do... There's a link, by the way. There is a link, so we could do one, two... Alright, I'm going to keep that link around for now. We need seven nodes, so we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now, if I, if I linked right now, by the way, I could get our ammo up to 8 exactly. But, not for now. I'm going to hold on on it. So let's do energy. That'll max us out. We still can't take any shots right now. There's an overdrive node. That could be pretty useful as well. And now, we are done ski. Unless we want to raise our defenses a bit more. 2 and 2. Or 1 and 2 for evasion. Let's go with evasion here. Alright, so we'll go up to evasion a little bit, and you know what? I almost want to do it one more time to get the maximum evasion going on over here. Just in case he takes some shots, we can hopefully dodge him. And we can even do this one right here. Now, if I did this, it's going to drop us down to two energy and two more coolant, huh? Let's do that as well. Just in case he attacks us pretty strong, and this will be kind of defensed up, and we have a lot of evasion happening right now. And we can still do this if I wanted to, apparently. So, do we want to start off with that? If I attack him with this straight up, like, wouldn't he have to just spend a few turns actually trying to heal that up? Let's try it out. Let's definitely try this out, assuming it hits. Okay, yeah! That's a really good start off uh, attack right there. It's gonna give me a cooldown of 4, but it starts us off pretty well. Drives at 147, 
So we went for his drives, which is good, and his weapon B. All right, so hopefully what I'm hoping for is that now he's going to want to take a few turns to heal that up. His movement went down. He's no longer evading, but now it's back up. And ooh, that's a terrifying shot. Luckily, we had the shield up and running for that one. So he's got some defenses now, and his evasion is up to 20. So remember, we have the targeting lens, so in case he, we can land a shot, we can still hit him with the targeting lens right there, too. I'm going to say that we have to go after his... Um, man, he's got a lot of defenses, and he's you know doing a pretty good job of dodging right now. Oh, that worries me a little bit. All right, we have an overdrive, though, by the way. So what if we did overdrive and a guaranteed shot? Because remember, overdrive will make our attack a lot stronger. But... Um, we need to connect it to an actual ammo, though, next time around. So, man, he did a lot of damage to our weapon. I just noticed that. That's no good. Alrighty. So we have ammo, and we can do repair as a link. Coolant is at 8, though, so that's another thing that we have to worry about. Let's do coolant for now, so we have to worry about that down the line. And then we have repairs. We want to probably repair our weapon, I would say, too. But we could do that with a link. We could do... One, two. It's only going to be two ammo, but then we could link a lot of repair nodes together. We could go up to 20 on this one, remember. So we could do one, two, link. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Does this give me a boost to both weapons and repair? I have to try it out, though, right? Let's see if it does. Oh, I think it did. I hope it did, anyway. We have another overdrive node as well, by the way. Match the um, overdrive to gain an overdrive charge. These charges are used automatically on your next system activation to guarantee an overdrive effect. Okay. So since we have an overdrive effect right now guaranteed... Oh, this only goes up to 10? I thought it was 20. Oh, the coolant is 20. Alrighty. My bad. So let's repair... No, let's go for an attack, I'm going to say, right? Yeah, let's go for an attack on weapon B. On... Man. Let's go for the drives. I don't want him to dodge my shots, too. So let's... Overdrive, 129. Perfect. A lot of damage as well. So, look, his drive is just about done now. So he won't be able to dodge any more incoming shots, which is good. It's going to have that um, shield up and running still, but that's okay. We have a few more shots still. We have a lot of repair as well to do. So let me start off by repairing this over here. Get my weapon up and running again. So we're kind of pretty much set on our weapons now. There's some scrap that we could collect, but right now I'm not really worried about scrap. I'm more worried about this guy. We have an overdrive that we can link up with the weapon. So we can take another one shot with an overdrive. So we'll do one, two, three, overdrive, this through here. Mind you, we don't need all this ammo right now. Maybe energy would probably be a better resource at this point to link up with overdrive. Maybe, but let me go with the um, ammo shot over here. And do we want to bring down his drives completely or do we start messing around with his defenses now? Let me make sure he's not going to dodge. So, no, I think, yeah, let's go for drives. Drives would weapon B. Please don't miss. Okay, so we got his drive completely down. He's not going to be moving for a bit now. His shield is up still. That's going to be a problem, but at least we got that under control here. And with what little left over, do we want to increase our walking range a bit? It's going to bring us down to two or negative, um... Or not negative, but zero energy. But we have a lot of energy nodes over here left over still. It's going to bring up two no um, two coolant. It's going to be down to five. Yeah, I think we do a dodge chance as well. Because that's that weapon that he has is kind of scary. So I'm going to say this is looking pretty good. We could even take one more shot, by the way. He's not going to be dodging it. This will be three and two. Three and two. I say we go for it. We go towards his defenses, and we will just take a weapon B shot over here. 64. Alrighty. Makes sense because he has defenses going up and running. But he's down at 169, and we're kind of almost at full health just about. So I'm going to say we end our turn here, and we're looking pretty good. Now, his shield's going to go down, apparently. What are you doing? You're over here trying to fix up. Take a shot over here at me, too. And you went for our defenses, our shield. Oh, Lord. And our weapon B. He's up and running again? Oh, you piece of shit, you. Okay. You're at 10% right now. Alrighty. No overdrives, though, Red. We have no energy, and our coolant is looking pretty bad. So let's start off by collecting energy first and foremost, maybe? Um, we could also repair. What do we want to repair? I'm going to say we repair our defenses. That worries me a little bit. So we'll get that up and running, and then we'll go with 
We need coolant as well, by the way, because we're about to hit zero. So we'll collect some coolant. Now, we have two turns left. I'm saying we go after power, because we have no ammo notes, by the way. We have no way to take a shot right now, which is unfortunate. So I'm thinking we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just to give us some room, too, right? So, yeah, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Alright, uh, we got some um, weapon notes, perfect. Or ammo notes, I should say. Alright, so our power is filled up now. Coolant is at six. We can't collect any more coolant, but we could do the ammo node to get a shot off over here. If we take a shot, I almost want to go with the um, targeting lens over here, just to bring down his drive one more time. So that could probably be the best um, course of action here. So let's do... Mm, well, ammo, I guess, right? Yeah, we'll do ammo down through here. So now we have a shot. Let's activate targeting lens. All shots from the next weapon to fire will be unable to miss. So we'll collect that right now, and we go after his drive. Yeah. Is that the right call? Drive? Well, actually, no, because it's not going to miss. We want to bring the defenses down, too, right? So we'll go defense, and we'll go with energy lance. Okay, he's down to 103 now. We're at 427. But we did a lot of damage to his defenses and his drive, so he's going to probably start healing a little bit here. We have a chance to still do this without hitting zero on the coolant. Do we want to evade or soak some damage? I'm going to say we try to soak damage because this guy hits like a ton of bricks right now. So yeah, we'll do that one and we can do this one more time, but our coolant's going to hit zero. We have no coolants that we can link up for next turn, so no, I'm going to hold on to that two coolant right now. And we're going to go with done. Okay, let's see what he tries to do now. He's fixing up, movements back up, movements back up. So he's going to go with a dot chance and no shield. This could be the call that we needed right now. Man, had we not used his last turn, we could have, you know, finished it off right now, too. Okay. Hindsight 2020. So, let's see here. Um, honestly, repairs is not really a big deal right now. I would just get these repairs to get some notes to come in. Power, we're at 6 right now, so there's a lot of power notes we can collect, too, but I'm not interested in those. We need some weapon notes to kind of come in together, and that's not happening for us. So let's do... I'm gonna do scrap, even though it seems silly, but just so I could get some notes to come down. And not, not, and not any that I could actually link for an attack, which is bad. Okay, so we have two turns still left over. I'm going to say we have to collect the repair ones to get them out of the way, at least. So one, two, three, four, five. You can't. Okay. What if we do one, two, three, four, five, six? Okay, we'll collect these bad boys over here. Oh, still no attack. That's fucking shit, man. Okay. Well then. Let's repair our weapon B, just in case. And we have to get some coolant, I guess, right? Energy is fine. Yeah, I think we have to get some coolant here. So we can do four coolant on this side. I guess we'll have to go with that one. I see no way to get any weapon shots here. Because it has to be two or more, right? Yeah, it's got to be two, three or more. So, energy. There's a lot of energy that we could actually use to bring this down. But I think coolant could be a little bit more useful right now. So we'll get some coolant, and still no weapons, no ammo that we can link. That is really, really bad. And I say we got to raise our shield again, right? Man, he's going to bring his shield back up next turn. I'm so upset about that. We'll have this ready to go, though. Our Dunren Rocket Pod, so there is that. Don't raise anything right now, just keep attacking me, that's fine. I'll take the damage right now. Okay, that's good. That's it, end your turn. Alright, so no shield up. He's trying to get his defenses back up. He can get them up, by the way, but um, overall, we're still looking fine. So, ammo. Ammo is worrisome. Can't really do much about it. I'm thinking we go after the Donovan Rocket Pods. Maybe this will end the match for us. Let's see. Let's hope. Oh, no. 31. <laughs> it's so close. It's so fucking close. Alrighty. We just need to get some of these ammo pods to connect. So, let's do... By the way, if we get... Yeah, we can end it right now. Let me get this energy out of the way. And that'll bring these, um... Oh, no, it didn't! But we still have three over here. And three over on this side. So let's go down this way. That should be enough for a shot. And we're gonna go with a regular shot towards his... I don't know, drives, I guess. Sure, why not? And we'll go with weapon A. This should end it as long as it hits. Boom! It hit. Alright, that was a little bit more scary. That was a little bit more terrifying of a fight. This guy kind of pushes to the limit. Limit! Walk along the razor's edge. Alrighty. Aerith Powell, come inspire. This is Lady Powell. Receiving you well, Commander. All enemy forces have been destroyed. Very good. Return to the hangar for debrief. 
Hooey! That was a scary one. 150 more war assets, 705 scrap, and we have 11,000 experience over here. So that should definitely get us up to level 3, I would say, right? Almost up to level 4, as a matter of... Actually, no. Almost up to level 3. We're heading on to level 3 right now. So let's see what we can get over here now. Passive augmentation, iron cast ability, improved ballistics. All shots from the next weapon of fire will have their damage boosted by 20%. It's an active skill, by the way. Uh, overdrive shields, the chance of your shields automatically going into overdrive when activated is increased by 5%. It's not too bad. Especially because I use shields a lot too. And all enemy damage is reduced by 15% for two turns, and that's going to be uh, an active ability as well. I'm going to go with Iron Cast ability just to hit hard whenever I could, you know, need it. So, yeah. Let's go with Iron Cast ability. Save and close. Next up, and well, we got some shot coils, and we have a hardened drive from this dude over here. So that could essentially help us out a little bit, assuming we have the scrap to actually afford it. Gonna be back in base now. Yes, alrighty, we're gonna call it an episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support, it does me a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.